everybody, welcome back to Let's Arty. A R T Y R T. So. Just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone that's given such lovely feedback and lovely comments. Really didn't expect as much support, so thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so for our second Let's Arty session, we are going to be making... Bug rocks! What? What are bug rocks, you may say? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. Okay, so today you will need different shaped rocks. So we're gonna go out together, get different shaped rocks. You can go into your garden. Um, if you don't have a garden, you could go for a walk, get your one bit of exercise, uh, collect lots of different shaped rocks, different shapes, sizes, colors, um, yeah. uh, paints, any colors paint. Lots of the, the more colors, the better. Paint brushes, obviously, but you can use your fingers. Let's try that, we'll try that. Glitter, obviously, that should just be a permanent on my lists. Glitter will always be there. And googly eyes, I don't know if anyone has them lying around. I don't, but I'm going to draw them. You guys might have them, which makes things easier. Okay, so let's go collect some rocks, as you do. There we go, got all my rocks and uh, lots of different shapes and sizes. I thought this was quite cool. I don't know what it could be yet, but it could be something. Um, I've given them a good clean. I've washed them properly and um, asked mum and dad for a little bit of help. Um, yeah, didn't think I'd be saying I was gonna wash rocks today, but this was what's happening. Right now we've got all that we need. We always, always, I said this in last lesson, I'll say this in every lesson, we need to put on our apron. Um, I have cleaned it since last time. No more spider webs on my apron. Right, let's start it. Right, so you should have everything out in front of you that you need. Um, and the first thing that we need to do is choose an insect to create. So I've got some pictures of some ideas that we might want to use. So you might want to create a ladybird or maybe a bumblebee, a beetle, or I found this cool rock that I thought could, I can't get it in the screen, could maybe be like a caterpillar. We'll see, but you choose and then we'll go from there. So I think I'm gonna start with a ladybird. See this ladybird is red, red, and black. Um, but you can make different colored ladybirds. There are yellow ones out there, and I'm sure there are other ones if you have a look, but you can be creative. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. I might make maybe a blue one. What are we thinking? Blue ladybird? So I've chosen my rock, or my future ladybird, and I'm gonna start just painting it all over. Pretty easy. Oh, 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 just dropped my rock in the paint. <laughs> it's fine, doesn't matter. <laughs> Try that again, shall we? So, just gonna paint all over. I found blue, I found a blue paint that I'm very happy about. My favorite color. That's it, do it all over. Oh, gotta do the back as well. So now that I have painted my rock blue, I'm going to get some black paint and squirt it onto my palette. 
<laughs> and then I'm going to get my black paint and I'm going to just paint this little bit here black. I'm going to make it a bit tidier and then I'm going to draw a black line Ooh, it's a bit wonky like that down the middle you might want to need you might let me say that <laughs> you may want to ask mum and dad for help or whoever's helping you can't be on the sister store okay um, but it should look something like this <laughs> ta-da <laughs> So I've just attempted to tidy him up a little bit. Um, I'm going to let him dry, not for too long, you don't need to wait too long, just so it's not going to uh, smudge when you put your white paint on. So just put that to the side for a second. You could move on to another one while you wait. Um, actually, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do. Hold on. I was just going to show you, I've got a little pot of water and I'm just cleaning my brushes so that my colours don't smudge into each other because I don't actually have as many brushes as I thought so it just makes it easy so you don't have to worry about cleaning your brushes and getting up and down and up and down Ta-da! so I made my red one and my blue one is looking quite dry so I'm going to put my little red guy to the side and I'm going to go back to my blue right so now while my red one is drying I am going to create the little white spot on my blue ladybird. So I've squeezed some white paint um, onto my palette. I'm just cleaning my brush. We don't want black spots. We want white spots. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you guys that you don't need much at all. Ready? Ooh, hope this works. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done so far. They are wet, so I'm going to be careful, but ta-da! I bet yours look a bit tidier than mine. So while they're drying, I'm going to do another rock. I've got a bowl full of rocks here. I'm just going to, I'm going to pick another bug. Um, you don't actually have to do bugs if you don't want to. I know Easter's around the corner, um, so you might want to do a chick or a bunny. Actually, Let's do that as well. I'm going to do another bug and then I'm going to do a chick, I think. And we'll see. Here we go. I'm trying to make an insect that makes a buzzing sound. It's a little bit messy. Can you work out what I'm trying to do? Because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I forgot to say. I have some very exciting news. My mum, sorry, producer, <laughs> found glitter. Yay! <laughs> Not just one, but loads of it. Oh, I'm so happy. So while your paint's wet, you might, this is where it's gonna get messy, sorry mums and dads. You're gonna shake a little bit, be careful. You might wanna, there you go, hey. That's a groovy bumblebee. <laughs> Oh, my caterpillar. I haven't made my caterpillar. Hold on. Oh, I don't have any green. Ah, but I have blue and yellow, and that makes green. There, perfect. There we go. I mixed my blue and yellow, and I've made the green. It looks nicer in person than it does on the camera, <laughs> I promise. Yep. Oh, I think this caterpillar is going to be quite cool. Like the hungry caterpillar. He's got a red head, hasn't he? Should we do hungry caterpillar? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Ta da! But he was still hungry. <laughs> it's not great, but you've kind of 
see? Running out. Ooh, that's better. I've just added some, oh, ignore my very messy palette, some white to blue to make a lighter blue because when you add white to a colour, it makes it lighter. And when you add um, black to a colour, it makes it darker. I'm not sure what this is yet. I'm thinking a beetle, I think. Oops. I have got way messier than our last lesson, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm done. Oh, look at the state of that. And my palette, oh my goodness. But you know what, if you haven't got that messy, then you need to. That's the fun part of this. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put these to dry. I don't know if you can see very well. I don't want to tip them because they would fall off like that. <laughs> I know, I'll move the camera. Hold on. Yeah, that's a bit better. So you can kind of see. Ta da! <laughs> this day has just got better. My mum found googly eyes. Woohoo! No way. <laughs> Yay! Um, I will also draw eyes one um, but we'll have some googly eyes too because I know not everyone will have googly eyes. I don't know why I do actually but yeah. Trying to get them to dry. I want to put the googly eyes on. <laughs> right so my googly eyes don't have sticky backs so I've just got some glue. Just putting it on the back my googly eye. And I'm just going to Yay! <laughs> First little bug rock. What do we think? I'm going to put some eyes on the others and I'm going to attempt to draw one and I'll show you. <laughs> I've attempted to draw, or sorry, paint my eye. It's not too bad. I think I prefer the googlies, but it's just a white circle with a smaller... Ooh, oh no, smudged it. And then a smaller black one in the middle. So not too hard, but it's a bit fiddly. Someone messaged me the other day and said, um, are parents allowed to make these too? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> My hungry caterpillar only has room for one. So it's more of a hungry cyclops pillar. So <laughs> you know what I mean. Here's the gay, he's cute. Right, I've just washed my hands because things were getting very messy. I think I'm done. I think some are better than others. I have attempted an Easter one. Um, it, it's supposed to be a little trick. <laughs> it's not the best one, but I said I'd give it a go. Um, I'm now going to start tidying up because it's got a bit messy. So you need to help your mums and dads and friends and brothers and sisters and grandparents and make sure it's all nice and tidy and these need to be put to the side to dry. Okay guys, our art lesson has finished. Um, that was fun, I liked doing them. That was, I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but I quite enjoyed them. Um, I'd love to see what you guys make, if you make different bugs, maybe. I thought about a butterfly, maybe. So yeah, if you do make any, I'd love to see them. My Instagram's all set up, it's Let's Arty with Lydia. Um, yeah, and let's see what we make on the next lesson. YouTubers say subscribe, don't they? So press the button and subscribe. So they? And I'll see you guys on the next Let's Arty. Bye guys.